Commission. As some organizations are working to reduce mass inmate numbers, many tri-state jails continue to be in need of more space. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Vandenberg County has been working for months now on an expansion plan. County commissioners heard an update tonight. Eyewitness News' Amelia Young was there and has more details for us. Amelia? Brad and Shelley, for a while now, the Vanderbilt County Jail has been at max capacity, according to Sheriff Dave Wedding. Recently, ACLU of Indiana came up with a blueprint to reduce mass incarceration numbers by half. But the sheriff says the system is doing its job correctly to keep the criminals off the streets. More than 1,200 beds. That's how many consultants believe are necessary to meet incarceration needs 20 years from now. The overcrowding at Vanderburg County Jail has caused ongoing problems for years. It causes tensions inside the jail. It causes problems uh, for staff and inmates as well. Tuesday night, commissioners heard from consultants working on the jail expansion that 750 extra beds are needed within the jail. We've been at numbers in excess of 800 consistently mm -hmm. for a while. Uh, we're well above the 550 maximum beds that we have. We have to do something. Work County is just one of the jails helping to hold inmates from the overcrowded space. If our population goes down to where we have empty beds, then we'll hold uh, additional prisoners for Gibson or Vandenberg or just another county that has an overcrowding problem, mm -hmm. then we can uh, hold some of their prisoners. ACLU's newest report calls for reducing the amount of time served for drug offenses, property crimes, robbery, and assault to free up space within jails. But the sheriff says the amount of people incarcerated increases because of repeat offenders who should be kept off the streets to keep the community safe. So I think the way the system works presently, it's doing well, and it's usually in favor of a criminal. He says he's not in favor of lessening sentences for repeat offenders, as many systems are in place that allow a criminal alternatives to sentencing. County officials are on board with the jail expansion, but continue to wait for a cost estimate until a final decision is made. In the newsroom, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.